This is Electronic Tonic, and on today's episode of Stuff on a Tesla Coil, we'll be looking at a neon flickering candle flame decorative lamp. You can get these at just about any hardware store and sometimes in the, the hardware aisle of your grocery store. And it's just a, a regular neon lamp, except it has two parallel plates very close to each other, and they're shaped like candle flames. I've got a uh, concave mirror behind, behind it so you can see both sides flickering differently. And uh, I'm not exactly sure of the actual mechanism, the actual you know, subatomic mechanism um, inside the, the gas, uh, the neon gas that's actually causing it to flicker like that. I don't know why. It just doesn't stay a steady orange glow over the whole surface of the of the you know the two parallel plates it may be that there is just not enough current um, to go around you know since there's a current limiting resistor in the base of the bulb but um, I'm gonna put this on my Tesla coil once with without it being energized and once with it being energized and this is the way that I plan to have it energized with 120 volts on top of my 250,000 volt Tesla coil is with a bunch of batteries um, all in series. I got eight of these Ever Ready number 411 NIDA number 208 15 volt carbon zinc batteries. It's got 10 carbon zinc cells in series inside, inside the case. I got a date code of 2006 so this thing is six years old but I found carbon zinc batteries to be very long lasting. I actually use old carbon zinc batteries uh, for Christmas decorations. Uh, they, they just very seldomly corrode um, out of their case unlike alkalines. They'll start leaking nasty stuff after just a few years. And um, since, since it is DC, only one of the actual plates inside is going to be lit. The cathode in this case um, and on the other side, the anode is gonna, not going to be lit at all. Okay, here's the bulb just by itself. I'll be turning up the Tesla coil only a little bit so I don't um, generate a high enough voltage that will break through the glass like I did on the last light bulb in the last video. I would like to keep this thing in working order. Okay, here it is on top of the coil with the uh, 120 volt battery pack. I've got it flooded with light right now to compensate for the, uh, the exposure on the camera. So what you see is pretty much what I see. And I'm going to start turning up the voltage on the uh, double resonant circuit. And it looks like, uh oh, here we go. It looks like it's the, the uh, ionization of the gas in there has gotten much more excited. It's a uh, much greater surface area um, on the plate there, and it's moving around a lot more. Let me turn off the lights. Okay, I'm going to crank it up again with the lights off. Here you can see the gas is being excited, being ionized all throughout the, the bulb. And again, the, uh, the actual glow on the plate, on the flame-shaped plate in there is much more radiant. Thanks for watching.